ZAMP is an open source web server solution package and is used for web application testing on a local host web server. Having said that, sometimes users encounter the error MySQL shut down unexpectedly and then get a list of possible problems that might have caused the error. So basically, you start the other services, they're okay. Apache is running on port 80 and 443. FileZilla is running on port 21 and port 14147. But then when you start SQL, then you encounter the problem. Yes, there we go. So this is the problem we are going to fix. So if this is what you are experiencing whenever you try to start your ZAMP services, then I'll take you through the process of fixing this. So these are the possible errors that might have caused this problem. Uh, you can read this on your own. So guys, before we proceed, I just want to take this time to ask anyone who's on this channel, if it is your first visit, kindly consider subscribing it will mean a lot to me but if this is a return visit from you then i want to thank you from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate your support kindly like the video share or leave a comment so let's do this guys so the first thing that you need to do is to stop all the services that are running so we stop all these services and then we close ZAMP. So once we've closed the ZAMP server, then we need to locate the folder in which ZAMP installation files are, are located. So we navigate to drive C, open it, then go to the ZAMP folder. Once we've located this folder, we will need to look for a folder called MySQL. So this is the MySQL folder. And then once inside this folder, we need to locate a folder called data. So this is data. We need to rename this folder into data old. We can give it a date so that we already have a 2023 so we can call this 2024 so that is our latest ZAMP data folder and then we need to right click on the empty space anywhere within this folder right click and then go to new and create a new folder we need to rename then, this folder to data once that is done, it's empty. You then need to go to the backup folder and copy everything here. Then paste it inside your new data folder. That is done. Then we go back to the folder that we had renamed. And then we copy our databases so we have one and two databases so we copy the databases csl and the nmc leave db but then we have to skip mysql performance schema and php my admin and test folders so we copy these databases and paste this inside the new data folder and then we go back into our data old 2024 folder, copy one file called IB data one and paste the same inside uh, the new data folder. We replace that file, it's done. So once we've replaced the IB data one file with the one copied from the data old folder into the new data folder, then we can now start our ZAMP. So we start ZAMP and then start MySQL and also start 
FileZilla. Now we can wait for a few seconds and see if there'll be a problem. But from what we can see, the files are running perfectly. You can see that for Apache process ID 13,092 and the other process ID is 8,148 running on port 80 and 443. Uh, MySQL process 18,652 is running on port 3006 and then FileZilla process number 6268 is running on port 21 and port 14147 so this is how you fix the problem of sql stopping unexpectedly when using zamp so if this was helpful kindly give me a thumbs up uh, share with someone and leave me a comment if there's something that you felt was not done the right way please share with me in the comment area i really appreciate your feedback whatever it is you have to say whether negative or positive is highly appreciated thank you and kindly do not leave without subscribing so let's test this one more time you can stop everything and let's start them again apache is running mysql running on port 3000 306 and then filezilla is also running you can actually see the status here attempting to start my sql app status change detected and it's running so this is what you are fixing and thank you for watching help me spread the gospel by sharing commenting and liking the video thank you very much and see you in the next one